<laughs> what? Is that a black card? I could give you a thousand bucks. Or the theme of today's talk. I could show you how to make an extra five grand a month. So which one would you prefer? I'd say wisdom, aka how to make that, because then you can make it times a thousand. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> Correct. I'm keeping my wallet. But I will give out, let's see, maybe I'll give out a thousand bucks. Uh, might have you come on and give the money away. You can pick the winners. Okay. But but more important, like I said, this is a Harrods card. When I was in London, I thought it was a black card. Um, I'm on the farm here. You can see the log house. This log house was built, guess what year? 1826. 1770, before America was a country. You got to come in a little bit, I think. Okay. Or you cut off. To the side. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about this. Pay close attention because I want to be giving away some cash and potentially prizes. But I, I want to just run through literally how to make an extra 5000 a month. A lot of people are intimidated by like, oh, Ty, trying to make a million dollars a year. Trying So let's just, just do a thing. How to make an extra five grand a month, but still now, you know, a month. Um, but this totally you come back in a second. Sure. Did you notice the tattoo she got for her birthday? It's not a real tattoo. What flash is it? Tat. It's a flash tat. It's a hippie because tattoo. It's here and then it's gone in a flash in a week. <laughs> it's a hippie tattoo. That's what I call it. Um, so let's jump into this. Let's see what the comments are saying. Someone wrote connection. Oh. If it keeps cutting out, it's because I'm in the middle of the countryside. So you might have to watch the replay or you can go to YouTube. We'll see how YouTube's doing. Yeah, we're I'm in the I'm wearing my I'm on the farm. Someone said, how fast is your internet? Let me cat let me count. You can head over to YouTube. It might be laggy. If it's too laggy, we probably will just skip it. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Instagram may. Not too bad. I came to YouTube. Works great. Elvis was an inside job. <laughs> Sup, bro? How you been? Hey, Ty. I could use an extra 5000 Um, I think my guess is Instagram is laggy. Laggy. Ty won the other night. No hit yet. Jerome, did you? Someone said this is better than IG. <clears throat> YouTube is better. YouTube works good. Facebook looks good here. Ty, you look younger. So maybe we should just. We'll see. Someone said, Ty, what's the YouTube link? That is a million dollar question. In order to make $5,000 a month, you have to be smart. So if you can't find me on YouTube, oh, so I just hit 10 grand on in your e-com agency. Nice. I just launched that e-com agency, by the way. Okay. Let's go through this, because I don't know how long I'm gonna be on here. Somebody said they drew, backed my car into a tree. Okay, that is not a good thing to do. Maybe we should just, we might just tell Instagram, head over to YouTube. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So why don't you show, because else people are going to be all you want me distracted. Share you can share it. We can always delete it later if it's not good. Let's run through this. I'm gonna do this fast. By the way, uh, if you've been seeing, if you're on my email list, you've been seeing there's what, less than a day to get into the four mentor programs, tylopez.com, um, they're all listed there. 2,200 bucks off, 82% off, pre-spring, prepare for spring. But I'm gonna give you a little update on what you would learn if you were in the program. I got the, each of them are four month program, social media, e-commerce, 
real estate, and credit, the four foundations in the modern world. So 5,000, an extra 5,000 a month. What do you have to do? First, break it down because 5,000 sounds a lot more intimidating than it should. I never, I always, by the way, think in daily goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, they're more intimidating. I remember doing this at one point in my life and I instantly became more comfortable with the numbers. I was like, and I've done it at different times when I wanted to make six figures, when I wanted to make a million bucks a year, when I tried to make a million bucks a month, when I figured out how to make a million bucks a week, I always did the same thing, no matter what it was, okay? Somebody said, Ty, real estate and credit mentor is all I need, can't afford them. Yeah, but they're at a discount now. You can buy them separate if you already have the other programs. So 5,000 a month divided by 30 days, and we'll just do it roughly, right? Just roughly, let's say a little under 200 bucks a day you gotta make. We'll just keep around. Maybe I'll make it 6,000, just so it's like a round number. So 200 bucks a day. Now, here's a cool thing about the internet. The internet runs 24 seven. You can only work a nine to five job, roughly eight, nine, 10 maybe 11 or 12 hours a day, and you can't even do that seven days a week forever. You're gonna burn out, right? So, if you work um, eight hours in a job, you have to make how much an hour? Roughly like, let's just say 25 bucks an hour. But, 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 if you have automated income, Automated income, meaning it works 24-7. A website works 24-7. A server does not get tired. A website, my websites have never got tired. As long as you pay your server bill, that thing will run, okay? Sometimes you'll get bugs in the software, but you can use software nowadays is not so buggy. So now, 25 bucks an hour seems intimidating, but what if 24 hours a day, you're making a little bit of money? Now you don't even have to make 10 bucks, see? Now you're at about eight bucks an hour. So if you can make money, you only gotta make eight bucks an hour from your, now what's the best way to make eight bucks an hour? Well, you can do us as social media marketing agents, you can do e-com, you can do real estate, all that, but I wanna focus a little bit on e-commerce. Amazon or any type of e-com. You can be selling on Amazon, you could be selling on Shopify, you could be selling on ClickFunnels, you could be selling on your own website, like whatever you want, or it's not that scary, as long as it's coming in for seven. So right here, I'll give you an example. I don't know if you guys can see this. Here's a company that, uh, an e-commerce company that partner built, Alex. Let me log into my Stripe. Here's my Stripe. Let's look here. DDD. Let's see how much made today with e commerce. I was showing this a lot and then I, I don't know. I haven't been going a lot. So here you go. This made, you can see exact numbers. Made $20,500 today. The day's not over because this runs on cash. So there's still time left in the day. It's done 1,099 payments, 790. $5,000 in the last four weeks. So this business, and I've spent, you know, a couple hours on, a couple hours on it. <laughs> Is this satanic? Did you guys just see the big thing at Harvard? Harvard, Yale, selling scholarships to people. The modern education system is much more, much more satanic than what I'm showing you. Ecom isn't really satanic. This guy, Samuel Campman, he's probably scared of websites. He's like he who first saw all like uh, what what uh, a motion picture in the early nighttime time was like what what satanic devilry is this? <laughs> Lucifer is unleashed upon this screen. All right, guys, I know I know this might be Samuel Campman. <laughs> Samuel Campman is a uh, Simmel, you know what else 
this new invention came out, you can hold up something, you press something, and then whatever you're looking at, it freezes it hanging on your wall. We call them pictures. They're wild. Wild, man. Um, <laughs> is Ty Lucifer now? That would explain his cars. Yes, I have devilry cars. Lamborghinis, pretty close. Okay. <clears throat> Ecom is the way to do this. Let me show you this right here. There's a guy from testimonials. Just so you know, this is within your reach. So I've been, I had an Ecom program since. Uh, this is not an agency. This is like actually selling a prod product yourself here. Let me pull up a random. I keep them all. This is a testimonial. Here's a guy right here who has a workout program. It's called Penalty Box. Penalty Box. You can just dollars a month selling e-com products thanks to your course. that's a big one here's somebody jack kitchener made over 20 grand in my fourth month in your in his first online business start two years ago and never look back i can't thank you enough ty also the guy ryan lester just started out there he posted in, in my private facebook group made 57 dollars and 75 cents it's not a million, but not bad, right? 57 bucks is better. Again, you only got to make eight bucks, seven dollars starts to add up slowly but surely. Um, Hill, Jack Halal did $4,607. That's his Stripe account. And that's in one day. So there's lots of people doing it, man. I know people think that like this is some Here's somebody who, this, I, there's a guy I just um, got in contact that follows me, Nigeria, he made like 90 grand or something profit in one, you know how much money 90 grand in Nigeria is? Remember that office when Michael Scott gets tricked, when, when uh, Toby is like, is this like that time when you got caught up in that email Ponzi scheme and Michael Scott goes, when the prince of, when the son of the deposed prince of Nigeria emails you directly, help him. <laughs> um, so this is not a guy doing a Nigerian email scam. It's an actual guy who lives in Nigeria and is doing e-com. No one knows where they're buying from. You can be buying stuff from, from a guy who's making all the money in Nigeria. Jason Massad says he only needs 20 grand a year and I'll be happy. Good. Um, Ty, I'm 15 years old and really looking to make money. Is this possible with my age? The number one YouTuber last year was seven years old, made 22 million. He makes money from YouTube, but he also has e-com products. He sells toys, Ryan's toys. So I don't know, he's seven. Are you older than seven? Okay. Ty, how much are the courses? You can get them for 197 or all four you save, you get them for 497, under 500 bucks. Or you can pay off a bribe to Harvard for $1 million. What was it? Jared Kushner, one of these, gave a $2.5 million loan. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but it's all over the news today. Ty, how do companies run ads that successfully appeal to people's psychology? So many brands will soon go extinct. Yes, because ex um, most brands are not good at e-commerce. That's why they're going broke. Look at every Toys R Us. You know this. Let me just blow your mind for a second. Mentor Box, which is kind of like a company we started. It's a little bit like Netflix of books. We sell, we have more around books than Barnes & Noble. We only been in business two years. Barnes & Noble was a $6 billion company. Their market cap's now 400 or so million. Because they, I went in Barnes & Noble the other day. Barnes & Noble... The whole bottom floor is CDs of music. Like, please help us all. If you think you're going to take your company from $4 billion back to $6 billion, this is an opportunity for you guys, okay? 
Someone say Amway is a bad idea. Is Amway a bad idea? I don't know. I've never done a uh, multi-level marketing thing myself. I've never offered multi. I've never been in a multi-level marketing. So I know some of my friends make a lot of money. I uh, just not. I uh, it's not my expertise. Some people do it. Um, but I like. Someone says Ty, Ty selling do. Yeah, fracture. As long as you sell it online. Ecom. Website, do rags, picture. You wearing how to draw. I know what they are, but I don't know how to want to draw them. So, multi-level marketing equals Ponzi scheme. Somebody asked. Nah, I mean, I don't know. They went to court. Like, there was an investor that tried to sue Herbalife. Massive lawsuit about them being a Ponzi scheme, and they lost. So, I don't know. I don't know. I scheme, they're just network marketing. They make money by having other people under them. But you know, Amazon has a multi level affiliate program, but it's not, you wouldn't call it a, you know, network marketing thing. Okay. Ty, I never got the link to join your private SMMA. Yeah, you guys have a handful of hours left to get in. If you go to tylopez.com, if you want, to go on the four-month e-com program that I have. I'm trying to do it while the internet's not that good. Um, someone said, Ty, no, five grand a month is 6.85 an hour, 24 a day. Yeah, 6.85. So if you sell a product, a do-rag somebody brought up, hair care. Um, I have a friend that sells a lot of, he sells like skin care, okay? If you sold one product and your net was $6.85 after marketing, after shipment, after delivery, and you sold one hour, 24 a, a day, that's $5,000 net a month, net. So, I mean, you know, it's not that crazy. Ty, tell us the book that you're reading. They can see you in the background. Oh, they can Come show them the book. <laughs> Tyler Bone. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yep. Boom. The Richest Man in Babylon is a famous book. Are you going to be the richest woman in Babylon? Or if the, only it was still existent, right? Then the, maybe there is Babylon. There's like it's like in the Middle East. So you could go to Iran. Do you want to live to move to Iran or Iraq? No. No. <laughs> wow, that's Babylon. Isn't that Babylon? You know what? I'm not greedy. I'm happy with just having enough. I don't need to be the richest. The richest won't. You want to be a richest man or woman? Someone <laughs> said, "Is she pretend reading?" Aaron P. It's actually blank. There's nothing in here. No. Aaron P. doesn't believe. He is sexist. He doesn't believe a woman can read a book like that. What do you have to say to him? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Alas, my experience has been bit bitter for my... F you know what? I can't read your book. <laughs> <laughs> what page are you? It's a kind of a funny no, book. Read. Profiting from my knowledge of the first law of gold. <laughs> I saved a copper from my first earrings. It's, it's old English, you know? Has... In all Nineveh... You can read. Don't don't well, don't start a conspiracy theory. People are gonna be like, right. "See, she can't read it." You know what? I'm just reading. Every just day. there you go. <laughs> Would you guys go to an Instagram called "Reading You to Sleep," "Reading You a Lullaby" by Kim? That might a hey, stupider things have gone viral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going back Somebody said, that. "God damn, you are hotter than Nevada." Thank you. Thank you. I thought I. Looked extra good on this in this shirt. Ah, remind me to wear this more often. Woo! Abraham said, You guys are good. Has she been smoking? Yeah, they saw that. They remember. Someone said, Ty is selling Bitcoin e commerce. No, I mean, just e commerce. You can use Bitcoin. One of my top students, he gets about 10% of his payments through Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still alive. Certain industries, people still literally sending and receiving Bitcoin. So I still like Bitcoin. Crypto coin, I'm a fan of because there's no business to them. They're like no one uses them, you know. Chad said, oh, my God, dude, reading to kids every night. See, we got a new business. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is risk. That's what somebody wrote. Okay. She said, life's a risk. She's a Bitcoin enthusiast. Someone said, she is she reading in the dark? 
Freedom Influencer said he hit 300,000 YouTube subs today. Today? You didn't get 300,000. You reached 300,000. Good. You got to turn your YouTube channel into an e-commerce platform, man. Someone said, Ty, I love you with unconditional love. Well, thank you. Ty, what is the book you recommend for teaching how to make money? Here's one thing. I love books. But if you want the most cutting edge things in making money, the reason I build programs is we can, like my credit mentor program, we just found some videos that are in there and they're not up to date anymore. Visa, different companies have changed their policies. So we just pull a video out and put a new video in. That's why it's better than books. I love books. It pains me to say this, but like you, if you buy a book, on how to improve your credit score or how to do e-commerce. By the time they print it, it's automatically outdated. So I would, in terms of like learning how to make money in the long term, I would use video training. If you wanna learn philosophy and if you wanna learn things that don't change over time, obviously history. If you wanna learn um, languages, even languages I would use video, so I take that back. If you wanna learn some things about sales and psychology don't change with the times. But e-com, there ain't no good book. All you got to buy an e-com book. I'm like, really? What's a good e-com book? Be it books take 6 to 12 months to write and publish. You want to be learning from a program that was one year ago? I remember reading an e-com book and it was like, you should market your products with Meerkat. I was like, Meerkat don't even, that app is off the app store. So if I have the e-commerce of course, does it automatically get updated? Yeah, we updated a lot of stuff. Um, you are awesome, Ty. Thank you. Ty, read this out li loud. Someone said, Ty, how do companies succeed in marketing to the right clients? Yeah, you got to pick the right client. A lot of face, you got to know who to target on Facebook, YouTube ads, because you can blow through. I've blown through 10 grand and gotten zero e commerce sales. That's the one thing. If you don't know what you're doing, with e-commerce, you can blow. You can blow all your Facebook budget. You can blow all your YouTube budget. You can blow your, um, you know, you can do Twitter. You can blow all your Twitter stuff. You can blow all your budgets easy. Ty, I don't want a thousand dollars. If you want, give me something. Please give me your course. Money versus women. You don't have to choose between. You can actually, they can actually go together. Believe it or not. Um, Ty, the Facebook ads app is outdated. Is that what you said? Yes, Facebook needs to improve it. Ty, I love your SMA 2.0. I got my first $1,000 US dollar client. Where are you based out of? All you not based in America, it's like so good. Okay, can you come give 100 bucks out? Well, I, got, I drank so much water. I'm going to take a, uh, a break. Okay, give two people $100. Ask them a question about what I've been talking about. And whoever you see on Facebook stopped. Oh, there it is. Okay. So who you pick one on YouTube, friend? one on Facebook. Yeah, the first one you see. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Do I need to? I'm going to mute my mic. There we go. Try that. We tricked you. See, you can't win the hundred if you can't hear what we're saying. <laughs> can you hear us now? Still silence. How about now? Say you could hear us if you can. Oh, this, okay, cool. Ty, Ty took his mic into the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no. You could hear it. Okay, guys. So, first question for the winner of the hundred dollars. Ready? What was the first thing that Ty spoke about, topic-wise? Tell them to restart. Okay, Rich Smith. No, that was the book I read, but not the first thing Ty spoke about. 
Because people are saying e-commerce. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay. E-commerce is right. Who is it? So I'm going back up to that first comment. It's on Facebook? Uh, yes. Zaid Carbacartabal. Is that a Zaid? Zaid, 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 Zaid. He's under Lucid Dev Team. Actually, let me get a picture of that. Right there. Okay, Zaid, you won the first hundred. Congratulations. Yeah. The richest man in Babylon. <laughs> What, he got it? Yeah, someone got it. All right. You got, um, you only give away 100 so far. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can come back and give the last 100. Someone said, is this the farm he talked about? All right, you come back in one minute. Sure. I'm going to leave in a second. Man, you got all this money out here. Ty, we can hear you peeing. No, I have my, I have my mic. Someone said, your shirt is transparent. Are we really using this? Is this related to, is this plugged into YouTube? Yeah, it's plugged in there. No sound. It was a sign for that guy that thought that modern, you know, technology was very satanic. I went back to doing a silent movie, like Charlie Chaplin style, so he'd feel more comfortable. He was a little worried. Ty, are you in Lancaster? No. Um, where did that 70s hippie come from? Taver on all the podcasts, man, she is fine. But a podcast is just audio. So I could just have any woman there, and you would like, we could just pretend it's you. <laughs> we could have a not-so-attractive woman you wouldn't know, as long as she has a good voice. Ty, when are you coming back to New York? Ty, I don't want your money. I just want a book. Okay, so here's the process. we got, we got to make $6.85 was the number. 24, an hour. 24 hours. Seven days a week. That's it. Six eighty-five. And now that's an extra five G's per month. That ain't bad. I mean, that's in America. And by the way, if you live outside the U.S., fifty grand or five grand a month, sixty thousand a year is like making six figures. The average person in America doesn't even make this much. They make under fifty grand. Ten bucks an hour. Somebody wrote, "Brah, what is this?" Riley said, "This isn't live." Riley's confused by what a YouTube live is. Ty, what's a YouTube live? Is that where you go live? Ty, I have an antler dog chew business. I'm 17. Can you please check us out on Facebook? We are called Antler Boys. Antler Boys? Is that a good name? You kind of want to have a good name, but I mean, maybe it is. You, by the way, let me give a little tip. You want the name of your business to equal the benefit to the customer. You get e-com, social media marketing, all bundled together. Real estate, the four things you need to make money in this game of life. You know those four things are good. Social media, that's how you create brands and customers. E-commerce is the process of getting people to buy and actually send you money on their credit card. They don't swipe it, they enter it in. Just like Netflix, just like Amazon. The third thing is real estate. That's where you can reinvest your profits to diversify. And then to pull it all together, get your credit score up. Repair your credit. Okay, someone said we're all back now. Um, so name should have the benefit in it. There was a company, I know some guys that are investors, they invested in a company called Chewy, C-H-E-W-Y. Here's a good example, Chewy.com. This isn't my company, but this company sold for billions. All it was is dog online dog food subscription. They made billions. Think of that right there. You know? Food. On a subscription. Just like Netflix is on a monthly subscription. Is making people billionaires. So. Someone's media is bad for business. Who said that? You must be talking to this guy that thinks the internet is Lucifer. 
you should go business partner with him. You guys can use telegrams. Not the app telegram, but like literal telegrams. <laughs> you can be beep, 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 beep. Who wants to buy my product? Deep, 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 deep. Remember that was another office one where they were using Morse code just to talk to Dwight? Ty, how can she not listen to you and read book? Probably because she's focused. Bro, what's your advice for a 19-year-old hustler? By the way, I'm doing e-com, studying you every day. Well, if you're already doing e-com, you could learn to build an agency. Then you can take the skill you already have and do it for other businesses. That gets your cash flow up. Time new on Amazon. I just sold two products. Sweet. Um, how do you feel about people who want success to be handed to them instead of working towards it? That's what I was saying at the beginning. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach him to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Bro, can I come over and kick it? Uh, you have a hard time finding where I am right now, man. I'm in the countryside. Just look at my internet speed. This is the fastest you can get out here. Ty, what advice do you have for learning how to do Facebook and YouTube ads? Watch a lot of ads. Sometimes people are like, oh, I skip your ads. I hear entrepreneurs, I'm like, well, <laughs> maybe because you're dumb. I don't skip ads. I watch them. I taught my one of my brothers who works for me in marketing. I'm like, every billboard you got, look at it. But you don't have to buy it. You can look at the psychology they're using. You can look at what a bad one, what a good one is. Every Super Bowl commercial, I'm analyzing it. So that's a great start. Ads that you see running a lot are working. Ads that you see one and done um, probably didn't work. Ads give you all money, somebody wrote. Not me. I spend money on ads. It's a cost. So I'm making an extra... 5k a month watching ad cuts the time for me to make money not really because you could watch an ad but you learn something one ad look at that ad for dollar shave club one ad took that i mean it wasn't the only part but it was a big catalyst in dollar shave club set going from zero to selling for 1.3 billion that's that's better you gotta research some man you can't just look at stuff all the time ty do you get roi on your ads of course that's why you guys see my ads is because they have ROI. Why would I spend money if I never made money? So I have how many business? So I have about 15 different brands. I never think in the word business. Think in the word brands. Brands are what valuable are what are valuable. Businesses are not valuable. There's 20 million businesses in the world. Most of them make under fifty thousand dollars a year. But brands mean trusted and well known, right? So like MentorBox, we're building that brand. We already have over 50 million minutes watched. It's becoming a, a brand. We have Walmart as a client. We have 75,000 monthly you know, recurring paying customers. So I want to build brands, not businesses. That, and that's another thing they don't teach you in school. But if you study people like Warren Buffett, he doesn't care. He used to just buy any business. Now he's like, is it a trusted brand? He owns Amex. He owns... Um, Dairy Queen, he owns Bank of America, he owns Coca-Cola, he owns, um, uh, what's the, the, I forget the homes, not KB Homes, but he owns the big, they make all the mobile homes. In fact, I used to live in a mobile home, and it's the biggest manufacturer of mobile homes. He owns r the biggest railroads in the United States. So he's buying things that have a track record. He's building brands. Berkshire, Keller Williams, no, he doesn't own Keller Williams. That's Gary Keller. How do you scale beyond five? Yeah, Clayton Homes. Thank you. Ty, how did Elon Musk, Tesla have such good branding? Because he used e-commerce. Look at Tesla slowly shutting down all their dealerships because they're expensive. And they're focusing on online sales. I think it's a genius idea. Ty, what's a better course for learning social media marketing for selling products? Well, the social media product is more on how to do the social media. The e com they're two different things. you got to get good at both of them, but pick one at a time. Ty, can you buy some of our dog shoes? Um, sure. I, they're deer antler dog shoes. That's not a bad idea. They're natural. You should expand out, too, in multiple things. Once you get one good thing, try a couple other products, you know? 
Ty, would you want to invest in my Ponzi scheme? Dustin J9. Mm, it depends. Are you involved in it? One. Then the answer is no. What? From the office? Yeah, the Ponzi scheme. He's like, we're going to be selling. What are we selling? Calling cards. They're the next big thing. <laughs> Ryan's like, do people still use calling cards? He goes, this sounds like a get rich quick scheme. And Michael Scott goes, exactly. That's what I'm trying to help all you do. Get rich. Uh, Ty, how'd you like the ball? Uh, Ty, I've made almost half a million since 2016 flipping medical commodities. Okay. Good. Now you got to go up. You got 500 grand. You got to go to a million. Long form sales letters or VSLs. Uh, usually VSLs win. But there are times when VSLs will lose. You can do both of them. You can have a, long, a VSL at the top and long form VSL at the bottom. How to long to see results with your programs. I've seen people have them in the first week. And I've seen people get no results. Usually the people who don't, who buy the program and like forget, <laughs> forget what they're doing. Like never log in, for example. BitConnect, isn't BitConnect done? Didn't they go, they're gone? People used to think, some guy made a video where he edited my voice to make it sound like I pitched BitConnect. Shit. I ain't never pitched Odie BitConnect. In fact, I have three videos. I never posted the video as a rebuttal video, and I was like, do I even want to reply to this? But where I told people, don't, I never owned BitConnect, ever. But a lot of people were stupid enough to get BitConnect. I had one guest on my, on my podcast that was like, BitConnect's a scam, but I made a lot of money in it. I'm like, don't put that on me. It wasn't me that said that. Hello, I believe in free speech. You can come on my show and say whatever you want. I don't care. It doesn't mean I believe in you, you know, but Ty, you recommend speed reading with the finger. Uh, people sometimes do that. I don't, but people do. Ty, have you done Forex trading? I'm not really a Forex trader, but I know people that swear by it, love it. Um, yeah. When are you dropping your course on how to sell a course? I did that once. I had one. It was like a trend mentor. It was like how to catch trends and sell courses. But most people get intimidated by that. Why are your videos so long? Uh, they're not all long. My Instagram ones on my Insta are all 59 seconds. <laughs> is that too long? That might be too long. The average American's attention span is five seconds. Less than a gold, less than a goldfish. Ty, would you ever do a live stream with Jordan Belfort? I did one. I've, I've done a live stream with him. And in fact, I just posted a video, The Wolf of Wall Street. We're playing basketball. He got one arm right now because he had surgery. Stream is now good. Give the production people a raise. <laughs> How much does it cost to be a part of this? Well, this live stream is pretty free. You can pay for it if you want. Ty, can you do a live stream with Gary V? I did one. It's on my YouTube channel from way back. How can we make 5K quick? Ty, give away a program package, you pistachio. That is the greatest <laughs> name I've ever had. Like, I keep my mean comments. I, let me read some of my mean tweets. But that one is, that's going to go in there as one of the great, I can't tell if he was complimenting me. I was just going to say. He might be in the nut business. He might be in the fruit. You in the raisin business, whenever you get it, like, you don't say, what's up, bro? You're like, yo, what's up, pistachio? That's, I guarantee you, this guy, he's right from California. He's in the pecan. He wanted to pitch me his idea. So he's like, he forgot that not everybody speaks the language of fruits and nuts. What's up, you, what should I call them? You macadamia nut? You Brazil nut? That's what's supposed to be the healthiest nut. So you only call me a pistachio. My mom says pistachios aren't even healthy for you. Ty, you're going to talk about real estate. Well, I can't talk about all four programs right now, but um, look, I'm here looking at real estate. That's what I'm here, part of the trip that I'm here right now, looking at real estate. I'm looking at about... Uh, 450 acres, four different plots. Two of them, one zoned to be subdivided, 
One of them I'll probably put in conservation so it can't be developed. One of them's already gonna be developed. So I always say, if you can't beat them, join them. Um, so yeah, real estate, I do a different kind of real estate. I do more like land development. That's not a good place to start. But in the real estate program, I bring in a lot of people that, ha that do stuff that's easier to start with. Wholesaling, flipping, you know, even buy and hold stuff. I have an Airbnb pro program that you don't even have to own real estate. My, one of the first people who got in the um, real estate mentor program, he did a wholesaling deal. First deal he made, uh, was it 25,000 or 50,000? You know, as a guy from Texas from a poor family, he made one deal and he went on to make about 100 grand in the first 18 months profit. So, Ty, can you help pick between SMMA and Ecom? I only need to learn about Facebook and Instagram ads. Ugh, I will, bro, there, man, flip a coin is the answer. Whenever you guys are confused about what to do in life and the two options are about the same, just flip a coin, you know? Ty, how do you get attention as a social media fitness guru? Be fit, understand human psychology, you know? Oh, here's somebody who was just talking about. Ty, Jonathan Aguilar, I made 30 grand on a wholesale deal, it works. Yeah, wholesaling works. Wholesaling real estate means you don't own the property. The good way to think about it for beginners is Wholesaling is you basically become like a middleman. Like you lock up the property under contract with not, without having to put money down, usually very little, if any. And you find somebody who wants the property and you mark it up a little bit. So you're almost like a scout for serious real estate investors that want to buy this stuff. And so you can create deals flow for them. These people have money, but they don't have time to go look at properties. So you find undervalued properties. You put them under contract in your name and then who want to buy it from you. And let's say you put it under contract for 150 grand, but it's really worth 200 grand. You could sell the contract to them, wholesale the contract for like 165, 175. So you quickly made 10, 15, 20 grand. And they're happy because they still got the property for less than they, um, than less than it's worth, you know? Okay. Ty, do you know Theo Vaughn, the comedian? You know, I don't know, but I've in Hollywood a lot. I've been around him. He, he, yeah, he's a funny guy. He's actually real funny. My cousin Maya knows him. Actually, I, I don't know if I know him, but. What income source do you prefer the most? Having multiple brands, that's the main thing. I don't like all my eggs in one basket. I'm not an egg in one basket guy. I'm more of a pistachio, you know. <laughs> I'm more into the pistachios all in one basket, not really eggs. A pretty girl reading a book, I'm so amazed. No, he seemed, I think he's actually amazed. <laughs> Tell you, you look so stress-free. Man, whenever I'm on the farm, I am. Okay, I like how this guy dodges direct questions related to his pitch. Lavian, what are you talking about? Is your, wait, Lavian or Labia? Are you the Labia? Oh, sorry. I, it's the Lavian. That's your, you, you might want to change that YouTube name. It looks like your name is the Labia, which maybe is what you're going for. Okay, Mr. Labia, what direct question did I dodge from you? It might be because I'm getting hundreds of comments. I know that in your narcissistic world, if I don't answer your question, you may be confused. He's like, this guy's dodging my question. Did Instagram, okay, I'm not gonna dodge any question. Did Instagram kill, kill Snapchat? In a way, yes. I'm gonna answer everyone. I don't have a computer. Can we access this on work? Yes. Do you believe in the law of attraction? Yes, if done right. Someone said, bah ha ha ha, no labia, please. Tyler, you think Amazon is saturated and get it hard, harder for new sellers? Not if you know how to do branding. But if you suck, yes. Advice for last year at uni, study, college, study psychology of sales. That's what I would say. That's the most practical thing unless you're going to become a doctor. Die, how do I claim the giveaway prize of $100? I'm so confused. Reply with your cash app. Okay, I'm every doing every single one. Oh, man, I'm going to get a headache doing this. Ty, how do I get clients from the U.S. or anywhere else in the world? I'm in Nigeria. Know how to send them a good email and direct message them on social media. Ty, how do you train yourself to improve focus? Read a book. 
That's a great way. Ty, how do I find my passion? Test 12 things. One of them will be good. Be a, be a like a, a intern for 12 different companies or 12 different industries. Ty, I got my farm in Jamaica, cows, watermelon, and horse. That wasn't a question. Affiliate marketing. Uh, is that all? That's just a question? Are you just saying words? I love lamp, question mark. <laughs> Ty, you smash girl. Are you asking if I've ever had a girlfriend? Yes. Ty, and we don't need a real estate license to do the contract. In general, you don't have to. The state by state, wholesaling is different. Some states, it's not so good to do it in. Gay for pay. No, I'm not gay for pay. Are you saying you're gay for pay? Brian Rodas? Brian's asking me if he should. Are you asking me if that's a good way to make five grand a month <laughs> for you, Brian Rodas? Depends where you live. Some states, you're going to make a lot more money than others. I know you're selling 67 steps, but do you believe in them? Well, I'm not talking about the 67 steps today. I definitely believe them. I'm using them every day. And uh, How much would it cost me to make $5,000 a month using your method? I mean, I've seen people do it with no capital. Yeah, bra. Oh, three book, good books to ready. You mean to read? Go. The one thing, you can read the book she's reading, The Richest Man in Babylon, and Civilization is Discontents by Sigmund Freud. Would you be interested in business? Yes, I'm interested. What's the next big, big e-com? Mm, virtual reality is going to get bigger. People e uh, Augmented people are going to be able to see the product, try it without actually buying it, you know, and then make their decision. What do you think of making money on YouTube with AdSense? So you mean like trying to get money on engagement, uh, on views? You can do it, but you better get pretty big. It's harder than you think. What is the selling point you, for you when buying land if it's in my skill set? So real estate's very broad market. Nobody's good at all real estate, you know? So if you meet somebody that's like, oh, I know, understand everything about real estate. It's too broad of a, of a target to understand. So I stick to what I know, which is more like buying raw land. Other people, I have friends, they're masters at buying a property, improving it a little bit and flipping it for 50 grand, you know? I know other people, Grant Cardone, he likes to buy large apartment buildings. And that's great, it takes more capital. Um, you know, what's better passive income versus active. There's no better passive income generally is harder to create. It's harder to maintain. Obviously in an ideal world, it would be the best, best way to upgrade English language skills. In easy FaceTime somebody in America, pay them to FaceTime them, you know, for an hour a day, 20 minutes a day. That's the best way to get good. What Grant Cardone have you read first? You know what? I don't know if I've read Grant. I maybe I've read his 10x book. Uh, can you sell 1k a month fitness programs? Can I or can you? I think you mean Zach's ask. You can, but I wouldn't have my initial entry point until you have real brand awareness. I would not charge a thousand dollars to start. I get in with a look. Whenever you start a business, put the price ridiculously low. Then you can raise it over time as you build brand equity and brand trust. Top five best businesses with small capital, e-com agency, H, uh, uh, social media marketing agency, e-com itself, selling a simple product, drop shipping, or partnering with somebody who has product and you sell it. Uh, number four, um, best business would be what I call an HSMC, home sharing management company, rent people's property on Airbnb for them and split the profit from Airbnb with them. That's for Amazon is a good one to start with, five. Okay, Ty, that contradicts your SMMA 2.0 pricing methods. No, it doesn't. If you set SMMA where you have a service business, is different than selling a product, right? So um, a fit, and you also have to understand your market. Less, more people will pay you a thousand bucks who are business owners to get them customers because they have a marketing budget. Most good businesses have at least five, 10% of their revenue per month as a marketing budget. Most people ain't gonna pay a thousand bucks a month for a fitness trainer. So the market's too small at that price point. Everything has what's called price elasticity. So uh, yeah, what's the best high income skill in 2019? That's easy, sales. Hey, sales made 70% of billionaires started in sales. Ty, when are you in Dubai? People ask me, I've never been to Dubai, but I would like to come. I got a lot of people from Dubai that invite me there and I haven't made it. Ty, you're getting heaps of comments on Facebook. Oh, sorry. Is this Facebook one right here? Yeah. Do you need help on your farm? I'm a horticulturist specialist. Email me. 
Farmer Dre, go to my job. I have tylopez.com slash um, hiring. That's a good place. Ty, how do you find it? Okay. That one dude that said I didn't answer questions, he ain't never, this guy, this dude, Mr. Labia. Did Mr. Labia never wrote back anything to me. He said I didn't answer his question and he got all butt hurt. Oh, he did. This is what he wrote me back. Why did you choose to insult me when I challenged you? I didn't. It just looks like your username. It's the Lavian. That's too close. Look, you might not be from America, but you don't want to do businesses that look like, like I was going to do a business prank. <laughs> I, I forget what it, let me think what it was. Oh, the initials were going to be BM. You don't want to, in America, that means bowel movement. So I was like going to go pitch an idea. I'm like, who wants a BM? Like you don't want to be selling BMs. So I was just trying to help you, not insult you. I was saying, you don't, in, if your target audience is English speakers, you don't want it to have labia in it. Just, it's not a good, unless you're selling lingerie or something. But even then, women ate, someone said, BM means black mafia. No, trust me. You don't want to be out there trying to sell people BMs. It's just not going to work. I guess Big Macs, but nobody calls them BMs. So what is your question, Mr. Lavia? Not to be confused with Mr. Lavia. Don't get shy now, buddy. Don't be tough. And then when somebody misreads your username, you get all butt hurt. Let's see. I'm waiting. I am specifically waiting. For Mr. Lavia, <laughs> I can't even say it. You can't say that in America. You can't be going around. <laughs> Imagine you're a substitute teacher. Like you come in, all right, class. Uh, my name is Mr. Lavia. <laughs> like that's not gonna go down. That you have to change your name, Ch change it. It's not your real name, but where is he? He's gone now. Look, you can't be insulted. No one even, you have a fake icon. It's not like we're even hurting you. Somebody said, what does labia even mean? Uh, okay. You definitely need to go to Google. You may be in fourth grade watching me and not know what that is. <laughs> now people are all calling him. Now he's definitely gone. <laughs> this guy said, I didn't answer his questions. And then I said, ask me a question. And he just said, you insulted me. And so he didn't ask me a question. Is buying website domain names still a profitable market? Being a domainer? Um, look, I don't have a ton of expertise in that, so let me not speak to it. I don't meet a lot of people, but there are people making money. But I don't meet a lot of people that I'm like, yo, how'd you make your money? Domain names. But it, maybe I just don't hang out. There's conferences for domainers, so there's a whole bunch of people get together and buy domains. Yeah, so... Ty, would you consider come? Man, he's starting to come in. Ty's roasting people. I wasn't roasting him, but apparently he is now gone. I think he blocked me. I like it. Somebody's on my, you, usually like the live streamer blocks the other person. I think he blocked me. Why was that going to hurt me to block me? I wasn't even talking. I wasn't even like following you before. Don't block people that aren't following you. It doesn't hurt them. <laughs> you're like, you know what? I'm going to just block you. And they're like, but I don't even know what your Insta is, man. He's gone. Would you scale a mobile nail salon that's been successful as a one-person operation? Yeah. You could potentially franchise it. You got to use lawyers because there's all this franchise law in America. But you could license the product out, which has less laws. But yes. Or you could just scale it and own, like Starbucks owns most of their, they're not a franchise really. Uh, Ty, please show me the way. Okay, I'm gonna go. We got, uh, we finally got the stream to go, but it's getting late. <laughs> this guy's gone. I'm bummed. I wanted to hear what the thing is, you know, that he would not talk to me. Ty, when are you going to po Puerto Rico? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's back. Ty, I've responded to you several times, and your viewers have pointed out several times. Seriously, dude, go fix your glasses. Why aren't you just, why don't you post it more than once? Lavian, I'm going to give you exact, somebody said Lavia is back. Okay. I, the, 
<laughs> I need to know what is the very profound I can answer. I know your IQ blows all humans away. Okay. Where is it? Someone <laughs> said Lavia needs a good licking. <laughs> Ty, I joined your e-com program last month for only nine bucks. So I had a little special for, this is on an e-com um, agency. Just signed my first client making me $400 a month at 17 years old. Sweet. There you go. Alex Power. You're welcome. Turn nine bucks of education into 400 bucks. I like that. A month, by the way. $400 a month is worth a lot more. I got it. Has anybody seen this guy's question? This guy has phantom. Maybe he's just, uh, maybe he's just being stupid. <laughs> Do you need help on your farm? I'm a horticultural specialist. Possibly. Kingcraft said, wait, how do I make 400 a month? That program's closed that that guy got in. I tell people, you snooze, you lose. You got less than 24 hours to get in this program right now. Someone says he's changed. Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, come on. He goes, Ty, you still can't read. I said I've responded several times, and your viewers have pointed out several times. Therefore... I don't need to post my question anymore. All right, you're just a troll. You ain't got no legit question. You know they did research on people who leave mean comments? Like, <laughs> so I call this big, they did a massive study. And they're generally the most psychologically scarred people on planet Earth. Not to laugh at them. I'm not laughing, I'm just, it's like facts. They need the most love. They need the most love? Did Ted Bundy need the most love? <laughs> I don't know if Ted Bundy needed love. Did, 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 do, no, they're, they're high in psychopathy, psychopath. Do psychopaths need more love? I don't know, psychopath, once you get enough brain damage, when you roll in on some of these dudes eating other people, you're not like, let me give you a hug, that'll fix it. <laughs> this is, that's the, Ted Bundy, uh, what's, the, what's the other guy that ate people? Uh, um, Dahmer. Dahmer. I don't know that Dahmer needed more love. You think, see, she's a hippie. You think Dahmer needed more love? Oh, he had, people. How do you, do that? you didn't know he ate people? How do you do that? <laughs> One forkful at a time, I think. <laughs> One forkful at a time, just like you eat spaghetti. Uh, Ty, she's giving you a death, spare, death stare on the back. <laughs> Bye, Bopez, somebody call me. I like her thoughts. What's her name? Ty, you funny as fuck. Pistachio. They're still <laughs> laughing about pistachio. Ty, how'd you find your first mentor? I kind of got lucky. Uh, I went, in, you know, traveling is the best way. As you travel, I jumped, in, I bumped into Joel Salatin and, um, and he off, he just offered, he said, I'm doing an apprenticeship, you know? Ty, do you still invest in crypto? Yep. I've never sold any of the crypto that I bought. Full disclosure. People were like, Ty's got into crypto. A pump I didn't ever dump. So that's not a pump and dump. For the pump to work, you gotta have a pump, then you gotta dump. It's not dump and pump. It's not pump and pump. It's pump and dump. So I guess I pumped and pumped, but that's good. XRP, I never owned much XRP. Honestly, the first mentor I really knew, a guy I knew that was um he recommended just sticking with Bitcoin. So I got mostly Bitcoin and ETH. I got a little other stuff, you know. So. Okay. okay. Now, now it comes back to other people. At Law for LaFerrin, if Ty's making accusations, he needs to back them up. But I don't even, how, I didn't make an accusation. I made a suggestion in America, don't have that username. I made that suggestion to the guy who has a dog food company called, what was it? I mean, Antler Buddies, or the Antler Boys. They sell Antler dog chew toys. I just, I feel like Antler Boys. I feel like you can just come up with a better name. It sounds like it's like two brothers selling antlers, but that's not the benefit. Why don't you name it something that benefits the dog? Like, why do you give dog chew toys? Because it increases their health? Because it helps with their teeth? 
right? Dogs are carnivores, they're meant to be on bones. So why don't you call it, you know, I'd rather that natural health care for animals. I would come up with something a little flashier than that, but people care about their dogs. They'll spend money on their dogs. Chewy became a multi-billion dollar company, or maybe it was just a billion, but a billion plus company. And so, actually, I think Chewy sold for three billion. Was it three billion? Somebody look up Chewy. They sold. Sell benefits, not features. Thank you. Talking about Barnes and Noble. Yes, Barnes and Noble is not doing well. Age should you become successful? I don't even know. I mean, am I? I don't even know if I'm successful now. Like, I never think that way. Like, compared to some people, I'm successful, and then I know people that are do way better than me. I never think about that. Never think about. Here's the thing about thinking about your success. When you start out, you'll be discouraged because you'll be like, I'm not successful. Once you get successful, you'll get too cocky. So just ignore just what you want in life, not the word success. Somebody, look, no matter what I do in life, somebody thinks, yeah, 3.3 billion. No matter what I do, if I think I'm successful, there's a whole slew of haters that are going to be like, ah, oh, you're not successful. You leased a Lamborghini. I'm like, you're supposed to lease Lamborghinis. One of the richest men in the world. He's the founder of Maxim Magazine, Richard Dennis. He died. He's one of the richest men in Europe. He said he had the, the three F rules. The three Fs. If it floats, flies, or Fs, lease it, don't buy it. <laughs> I, I, I want to keep my stream, you know. So... Things that depreciate, you want to lease. Land, I buy. Because land appreciates. You see what I'm saying? So things that don't appreciate. Like, you know, the best thing you could do with, let's say, it's too bad they don't have leasing of clothes. That's a damn good business. You get a, like, I bought a Louis Vuitton jacket. Uh, no, Dolce jacket. It was like $2,000. Which is kind of stupid. Because the second I buy that jacket and I put it on, if I try to resell it the next day, it's depreciated. You'll never get the same price for it because I've worn it. So it's, let's say the next day it's worth eighteen hundred. In a year, it's worth five hundred bucks or less. So they should have a clothing leasing company. Amazon wardrobe. Amazon wardrobe. Doing Do a they lease? Trial. Seven yeah. Trial and you can return it. There you go. You can try. I had a friend, my friend Fabio from Brazil, this dude, but he would do <laughs> Banana Republic. When we didn't have any money, Banana Republic had like a suit refund. He would go. He would keep all the tags on the inside. He would go to business meetings with me looking all good. He's like, I'm returning this thing to a couple hours. He would do it for like three hours. It was hilarious. I never, I never could pull that off, but, you know. Ty, are you saying women are commodities? When did I say women are commodities? That's fair. <laughs> did I say women are commodities? I think you implied it. When? The F's. No, that's what Richard Dennis said. Richard but Dennis you said is you not. I agreed with it. I agreed with the part about luxury items. Oh, I was just okay. reading you his thing. Yeah. He was like really into, you know. Yeah, yeah it doesn't mean. I, don't like, I don't like, for example, boats. I get seasick, so just, I don't lease or buy things that float. Yeah, anyway, it was just a... Miscommunication. No, it was a quote. Oh. When I quote people, I cannot change their words, you know? Richard Dennis bought his cars. How do you know about, you don't know nothing about Richard Dennis. This is a guy, Hamel Patel. Hamel, you're an expert on the dead Richard Dennis. You were his accountant. <laughs> were you his accountant? Ty, trust me. I looked at the books. Dennis, definitely. He's been dead for over like seven years. But back 15 years ago when I was running his uh, accounting. Okay. Ty, on numerous occasions in this chat, I've challenged you and you've resorted to name calling, sarcasm, and other defensive measures. You really think this is the way to promote a business? I'm not even really promoting a business. I'm talking a little bit about business. <laughs> but you know what, honestly, have fun in life. The real reason to make money is so you're not so stressed so you can have fun. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes I have fun. 
Dylan says, Ty, we are two brothers. This is the antler. We It helps the teeth. We started the business when we were nine and seven. There you go. So for his marketing, because we were cute to make more money, we did lots of trade shows. We made a thousand bucks in two days. Good. So instead of antler boys, why don't you call it antler toys? Can I get a little piece of that business for that? Then you could still your you could still like be like, yo, it's the antler boys here with the antler toys. That's actually a damn good idea. You don't even have to go on Shark Tank for that, and I didn't even take a percentage of your business. I'm just giving you a gift. I'm doing this on behalf. It's sponsored by. So I'm being paid by him. He is paying me on the back end here. I'm being paid in labia. Canine antler. I really think that's a good idea. The antler toys sold by the antler boys. That's way better than the antler boys. <laughs> Ty, how's your name Lopez and you look Asian? You know, I did my DNA. I'm 0% Asian. It's because of glasses. How about the antler gaze? Someone said stress level of poor and rich are the same in Brazil. Um, it's not really true. If you're real poor, stress level goes up. They've done a lot of science on that. It depends where you live. If you're like a Native American and you had no money, but you had food, shelter, family, friends, then yes, you didn't need money. But like if you're living in an environment where you have to buy food because you can't grow it yourself, then not having enough money is definitely stressful. Try going without eating for 30 days. <clears throat> stress level definitely going to go up unless you're Mahatma Gandhi or something. Ty, can I make 10 grand this month in fitness? I don't know. Do you have a trusted brand? Are you fit yourself? What, the simplest way to make 10 grand this month in the fitness is open a social media marketing agency and do advertising and social media management for people who are in fitness who will pay you one to $10,000 a month to manage theirs. Then one client can make you 10 grand, you know? Okay, I've got to go. Let's give away another $100, the final, because we had, you only gave one one. Okay, do you want to come help? Sure. I do not think women are commodities, just because Richard Dennis said that. Okay, we already gave 100. Mm -hmm. Is it worth buying infested land for cheap? What, are you from Chernobyl or something? What is, what do you mean infested? Infested with bed bugs, with fleas? Maybe it means something else. Ty, what can I do since I live in a country where its currency isn't worth anything and a normal salary is 300, 600 bucks? Andres, you live in, you're in the best time in the life because all you got to do is sell stuff on Amazon or e-com in the U.S. What was that noise? Yeah, it's probably the ice machine. Oh, the ice, okay. Um, Ty, I do marketing for a guy who sells barbershop equipment. Any tips? Hmm. You need a viral video. Go look at Poopery. Go look at Dollar Shave Club. Go look at Here in My Garage. That was a viral one. Yeah. Here in My Garage got more views than I think almost any. But Dollar Shave Club made a billion bucks. That's good. She has amazing eyes. Okay. Let's give this out. 200 or 100? 100. Okay. 100 bucks. Zaid Cardabel said, dude, I legit won earlier. They didn't get me anything. Zaid, anybody who wins on YouTube, here's the weird thing. You have to, it's hard to DM. You have to reply with your cash app or else you don't get the money. Yeah, I did pick Zaid. Yeah, Zaid, are you saying you didn't get the money yet? We you won like 20 yet. minutes ago. <laughs> we have to finish Let me call, call my staff at 11 in the night. Uh, uh, hey, Adrian, question for you. Can you get out of bed real quick? Yeah, Zaid needs his money. <laughs> Zaid, who is he? I don't know. I just gave him a hundred bucks. What, you're on a date with a girl, Tinder? Okay, can you tell her about the three Fs from oh boy, oh Dennis, <laughs> Richard Dennis, and just say you gotta go now? Zaid's more important than your personal happiness. You really like the girl? You think she's the one? But Zaid doesn't have his money yet. Adrian, listen to me. When you took the job as my assistant, there's two things that I told you. One, 
You will put Zaid's happiness above all in life. If he ever wins, wherever you are in the world, you would drop all things. Okay, you're going to the office? Good. Okay, Zaid, you're good. Adrian has lost the love of his life. He has lost the love of his life because of you. He finally, you know how many Tinder dates he's been on? Finally found the keeper to say, I gotta go. Zaid didn't get his money. Okay. Someone said, Ty, you sounded like Barack Obama. <laughs> Do I sound like Barack Obama? I've never gotten that. Okay. If you don't have Cash App, okay. One other thing. This, Download it. Okay. Adrian, he doesn't have Cash App. Download it? No, that's too much to ask. It's free app? No. Can you hand deliver it to him right now? I think he's out of the country. Can you get a ticket? Probably costs about 2000 bucks to get where he is. Why doesn't he download the app? I don't know. He says download the app. <laughs> He's getting pissed now. Adrian, I told you there's two things when you came to work with me as assistant that I could call you at 24-7. One, if Zaid needs his 100 bucks, you will drop everything. Number two, I said if Zaid ain't going to download Cash App for personal and ethical and cultural reasons, that you will hand deliver him this hundred dollars. Zaid, we see your cash to you. I All right, slide. he did it. Where did he put he, it? He put up there. I legit gave you my cash app, and I don't. Okay. See yeah, because I'm on the phone. Zaid Carta bill. Patience. Zaid is not <laughs> not helpful. Okay, telegram it. <laughs> Someone said Zaid said his cash app is the Lavian six 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 six. Somebody said tranny. You don't like it. You think she looked like. Tranny? There's haters everywhere. <laughs> you do not look, first of all, you're not large, larger. I'm not gonna even go and talk <laughs> about that. I'm gonna piss somebody off. Okay. <laughs> Someone said, if so, she's the hottest tranny ever. Um, let's see your hands. Okay. Um, Someone says, gorgeous. <laughs> Somebody wrote, in utero reverso. <laughs> what? Now that guy, this guy, I've turned a hater into somebody who's playing along with me. That guy was writing all kinds of weird things the whole time, and now he just did a funny <laughs> joke. Kemal Campman. See what you're... Weird psychopath energy and harnessed it into business making. You literally, you know, weirdly enough, psychopaths make better CEOs and entrepreneurs. So what you have to do, you got to stop cutting up, chopping people up and eating them in your basement. You got to take all that eating people energy, take the creativity, get copyright. I forgot about Facebook. Okay. Can you, I'm just going to do this just to show it's fair. You say stop whenever you want. Okay. She can't see it though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me when. Stop. Right there. J.P. Mills. I'm going to reply. Wait. No, there it is. J.P. Mills. You won. You won 100 bucks. Woohoo. All you have to do is comment and watch. You can use that to lease something that floats. Ty looks rich and homeless at the same time. <laughs> that one's good too. See, all you all, you gotta harness the psychopath. I'm telling you, harness the psychopath. Do we really want those people in business though? <laughs> it, I'd rather have them than eating my neighbor. I guess that's true. <laughs> hey, if Jeffrey Dahmer, if I could have convinced him to be a businessman, you know, you know what you should have done with Jeffrey Dahmer? He could have business. He could have been chewing on something. That was legal. He could demonstrate. Okay, my work here is done, I think, right? I think we're ready to go. Okay. Is she Eastern European? Nope. You're not Eastern European at all, are you? No. Nope. Germany is it? No. Eastern? I mean, she's not from East Germany. A while ago, in the 80s, that was Eastern Germany. I'm out. Jeffrey Dahmer should have started a jerky.